Hey, 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 guys, this is Seagrove, and today I'm here with Rucan testing Forbidden Light stuff. Um, I'm playing, this is really like last minute thrown together, and Rucan was willing to let me film this, so that was very nice of him. But um, I'm playing Buswell, and he's playing Malamar. So he won the coin flip, and we'll see where we get from here. Okay. Maybe I should shuffle a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rip. You see my prizes? I guess you don't really need to. Yep. All right. You were going. He won coin flip. Who are you going first? Yeah, I'll go first. All right. Um, I will draw for turn. Okay. I will play a Bridget. You want me to talk about my deck, or...? Um, if, when there's nothing going on, you can't. Okay. Like while you're uh, that's not good. I think I prized two of my in case. Solid. How many you play? Three. Three. Mm. <laughs> good and awesome. Um, good info. So, some quick context for everyone. I'm running two Dawn Wings and two Ultra Necrozma. The reasoning here being... Um, what was I going to say again? Okay, so uh, I'm teching my deck to beat Buzzwell a bit more because I'm anticipating Buzzwell to be more of a uh, threat than than Zoroark will be. So that kind of explains the two Donwing count floods, but I kind of just think Donwings is a really good attacker in this format. So I'm okay with just having multiple of those. All right. I'm also running three copies of Max Elixir to further swing the uh, matchup a bit. I don't actually have copies of Max Elixir, so I'm using these potions as my Max Elixirs. Got a lot of proxies going on here. Alrighty. Let's uh, go ahead and put a Psychic down onto the Ultra, uh, the, onto the Donwings Necrozma. I just flipped over your table, your video, so I can see it right side up. And it's like, <laughs> it's, nice. it's dizzying. <laughs> it looks like your cards are up to, to fall off the table. Like it's vertical. Wow. I hope that. Right, I attach a metal to the Mew and pass to you. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm, okay. Drop to. Mm hmm. Just gonna attach and. Yep. And. Okay. Did you see that in? Could you see it? Oh, you can see it? Yeah, I can see the corner of it, yeah. I'd be so dead if you were like, if you had a Guzma and you could like jet punch that Inkay. I know. <laughs> Actually, no, that. I wouldn't be completely dead. I would have a knockout on the Buzzle with a Psychic Energy. Yeah. But it would be pretty, be pretty bad. Yeah. Yep. Use it. Mm-hmm. Let me get another buzz. Let's see. Not what I was planning on doing, but I think that's probably better. Yeah. I've been testing like a lot of decks, like just trying to see how they can like either tech to counter buzzwool. Or like maybe like Beast Box to just beat Buzzwool. Yeah. But nothing's really working. Malamar's the only the closest thing that I have like that actually beats Buzzwool consistently, like more than fifty percent of the time. Beast Box? Nah. You sure you you, you rook I'm surprised you didn't Brooklyn for like a Deancey or something. That's it for a Diancy. Yeah, oh. Diancy Prism Star. I forgot that was a card. Um because you, you push the two shot with that, right? That pushes you to uh, 100 damage. Yeah, but I think I can do that next turn, right? No, no, no. Because if you're 20 off, if you do 80 this turn and 100 next turn, that's Oh, he has 190. Yeah. 
So okay. I think in this scenario, yeah, like you're not exactly in a rush to get out the puzzle. Let me do that. My deck runs three field lower, so it's like not too likely that I blow your okay. Brooklet Hill anyways. Alright. When I was going in, I was thinking I was going to get... Oh, well, that was wrong too. Okay, this makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I'll jump punch and I'll be... I think I do 32... You. I mean, you? I think so. Is that right? Um, I think it's the safer choice, because if I, if I evolve the Malamar, you're in a much harder spot. Yeah. Right, because if you eliminate the Mew, it's just dead. So I'm going to draw for turn. Yeah. I'm going to play a Malamar down. Um, I'm going to attach a Float Stone to the Dawn Wings. I'm going to attach a choice band to the Ultra Necron. If I want to do that, okay, hold on, let me think this through. I'm going to Mysterious Treasure away a Psychic Energy. Mm -hmm. I am missing my other NK, so what I want to do is I want to start developing another attacker. Ideally, something that can deal with um, a Lycanroc GX. So maybe I. I'm going to go for a second Ultra Necrozma. Alright, not not too much need to shuffle, probably. Okay, um, I'm going to attach a Choice Band to the uninjured Ultra Necrozma on the bench. And uh, I'm going to shuffle a bit more before I do anything else. Okay. Does Necrozma have uh, resistance to fighting? Uh, the Psychic one does, yes. Yeah, okay. 180 HP resistance to fighting. Does Malamar? Uh, Malamar does not have resistance to anything. I play a Sycamore, discarding a Guzma. Alright, I am going to Psychic Motor, uh, a Psychic onto the Mew. Okay. And I'm going to spend my manual attachment putting, um... Oh man, uh, where do I want the Psychic? I'm going to attach it to the, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Let's just put it onto the, I'm going to put a Beast Energy onto the healthy Ultra Necrozma. I'm going to Invasion, use the free retreat to promote Mew. Okay. I'm going to discard the Psychic Energy, take a knockout. Oh, um, 20 plus? Yeah, okay. it's 20 plus 80, 200. Yeah. This is kind of how the matchup goes. Um, in this case, I was lucky enough to hit a float stone to get the Mew into the active. But most matchups go, um, I basically need to hit like double Elixir or Elixir Malamar, get three Psychic Energies onto Necrozma. And if you can do that, you're in a good spot. If you can't, I mean, you're in a bad spot. You're in a really bad spot. Yeah. Got another rock, bro. Okay. I'm going to Brooklyn Hill. So, are you sure I shouldn't have Brooklyn Hill for Bustle last time? I mean, you can Brooklyn Hill right now and it doesn't change anything. Oh, you can promote the Bustle? Yeah. Um, hmm. I mean, I still think that was the good play because... I didn't know. See, the thing is, um, it would have been more likely that I attacked with Necrozma. Like, if I literally, if I didn't hit that Float Stone off of the Sycamore, and I only run two, so I have like a one in... Five chance of hitting that. Um, if I didn't hit that flow stone, I'd be swinging with Dawn Wings Necrozma. In which case, you don't really want Buzzle in the active to jet punch that. Mm -hmm. It's not very, very good. I, I think it's the correct play. In this case, I made a low percentage play that kind of punished you, but I don't think I don't think that play that I made is a very common one. I'll attach here. And... No, I'll attach here and pass. All right, I'll draw for turn. Gonna put down an ink. I am going to psychic motor a psychic onto Ultra Necrozma. I'm going to attach a psychic from hand to Mew, and I'm gonna discard it to take out that uh, rock rough. Surprised uh -huh. you haven't hit your max elixirs yet. Yeah, my deck's not very well shuffled. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. 
So I think um, you couldn't. So you attached to Rockruff last turn, right? No, plus four. Oh, I think I would have attached to Rockruff and gone for um, a GX attack onto the onto the Donwings Necrozma. Okay. I didn't have an energy last turn. I only have one. I mean, I didn't have two. Oh, okay, so okay. Like, might as Fair well enough. Put on Buzz in case I would. Um, yeah. Which I was expecting to. Yep. Um, I could pull something up, but there's not really any point. Um, hit like Floatstone. My my play would be 100% try to dangerous rogue the the alternate Necrozma of the choice band and the beast energy. Yeah. Because that I run two choice bands in this deck and one beast energy. Okay. So if you take that out, I have no way to one shot your Lycan Rock unless I hit my one of choice band that's left in the deck. Um, I guess I'll just jet punch and do 30 to, I want to do it to, I don't know, Ultra Necrozma with the Psychic? Because I can GX your... Yeah, yeah, because then you put set up numbers, I guess. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to promote the injured Ultra Necrozma. Um, I'll draw for turn. I will. Let's see. Ultra Ball discarding N and Psychic Energy. These these games go really quickly, and I feel like one if if Malamar gets the first knockout in, it's usually over for Buzzwool. But more commonly than not, like Malamar doesn't get the first knockout, and then Buzzwool is able to like ride the momentum. Yeah. But in this case, I just have two Psychics in this card, so I just order twice onto Donwing's Necrozma, attach a Psychic from hand, invasion in, and take a knockout, and I'm down to one prize. Oh, uh, okay. I'll draw Wanna move turn. on to the next game? Um, I want to play it. Okay. I'm going to pull up the thing. Yep. Oh, do you knock a it out? Yeah, in a second. I'm going to... I'm not going to book the hill yet. I'm going to Cynthia first. Okie dokie. Do the thing. You have just one prize card left? Or two? Yeah. Just one. Guzma Guzm gets me the game here. You have it? Nope. Okay. Um... Let's super run. Beast Ring does get me at the game, though. I don't have Beast Ring. A Buzz, a Rock Drop, and a Fighting Energy. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to use Brooklyn Hill and grab a. I'm going to grab a Buzz. Maybe B is not bad in these kind of scenarios where you have to, like, I might be forced to discard energy on a baby Mew. It's not really a good, something I want to do as a as a Malamar deck. What do you mean by that? Uh, the Fates Clyde Mew. It can do the Jet Punch. Right. It does you, 60, you, so it can knock out an Inkay. Oh, you mean in my list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have one. I'll GX. Boom. Okay. Promote Malamar. Draw for turn. I am going to play a uh, Max Elixir. Okay. Miss. Alright, so I, if I hit a Metal Energy, I have enough to take a Knockout since I have my 1 of Choice Band in, in hand. But I don't have a Metal Energy, so I'm going to play the Choice Band, Field Blower, the Stadium. I'm going to play Professor Sycamore, discarding Inkay, Malamore, Sycamore, Cynthia. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, I hit none of those things. Okay, so I'm going to play a... Huh. Mimikyu. Let's go ahead and... Motor twice onto uh, 
Let's do it on the Mimikyu. Okay. There's a chance my Ultra Necrozma can attack. I'm going to Invasion into the active, and I'm going to poke you for... Uh, before I do that, I'm going to play down a Float Stone onto a Malamar. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to poke you for 120. Oh, you have three energies on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It doesn't discard when I attack. Sure. Uh, I just forgot there was no one. I'm definitely in it right now. Okay, I'm drawn for turn. Mm -hmm. Um. Six. Sir, yes, we're doing that. Okay. Okay, I just lose now. <laughs> All right, I see it. <laughs> Got to hit your B strings. You put B strings in, right? Yeah, I hit them but on you that just didn't hit the Um, no, I didn't. Mm. I hit them on that elixir. <laughs> Two of them. I've been keeping an eye on uh, an eye out on how everybody else is building their Malamar lists, and every, yeah. everybody feels like they're going the Ray Eels route, right? They're just like. Maximize my bench space usage. Just like set up a board that takes big one shots all the time. Right. But my experience is like I tried doing that early on with like I don't know some parallel cities to like counter Zorark, right? Okay. It's you're just not fast enough to be buzzled that consistently. Like maybe you'll take like a sixty percent win rate, but you're not gonna feel like you're favored. Right. Buzzled to like brick somewhat over the course of the game, or you just lose one hundred percent of the time. They just take the first prize, and then they take the next two prizes, and they then take the next two prizes. And then even if you don't miss a single turn, uh, they just win the prize race. But that's kind of how the matchups felt like in my testing. Okay. So I'm, I'm building, I've built a Malamar deck that's kind of much more aggressive. So got and I'm really just uh, gunning to... Um, blow up some some buzzles as soon as possible, as opposed to like waiting to sell my Malamars to, and then swing for it. All right. Okay. I'll go first. Yep. I'm starting with a mini Q. I'm starting with rock rock. Okay. Catch it strong. Mm -hmm. Cynthia. So in my testing, I think Buzzwell, Lycanroc, I think it runs the uh, strictly the corner rock roughs. I don't think you need the tackle ones anymore to beat Zorark. Okay. And um, I think the Zorark, Lycanroc list uh, probably wants the 70 HP rock roughs, so you can play around the Ultra Necrozma's GX attack. Okay. That's my uh, turn. Your turn, yeah. Right. Um, I'm playing one of each right now. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and assume that they're both corner, because the tackle is probably not going to come into play. Okay. I'm going to play an Aura Choreo. I've been running one of this to just get out my energies more consistently. Yeah. I'm going to take a look through my deck. And you're saying your deck isn't as bench uh, It's not intensive. as bench efficient. It's what? It's not as efficient in terms of bench usage. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to pull out two Psychic Energies. So, you're saying so like I have this oh. choreo, which obviously it eats up a bench slot, right. but it's worth it because it helps you get your turn one attack more consistently. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to attach Psychic Energy to Mimikyu. I'm going to attach a Float Stone to Aura choreo. I'm going to play a Professor Sycamore discarding 
two Psychics, a Beast Ring, a Guzma, and a Malamar. Okay. I'm going to need to hit some Inkays off of this, or I'm going to be in a really sad spot. I got one Inkay. It's probably dead. Completely honest here. Um... Alrighty, I'm going to use the filter attack to draw two cards, okay. and then it's on to you. Alright, I'll draw for turn. Huh? Um, I'm going to play a... <laughs> I can't even copy cat that uh, dangerous rogue if you go for that. Yeah. But like, is a dangerous rogue worth an NK? Octillery for one. Yep. Um... Play Blood Swall. Yep. Rock Throw for 40. For 40? Yep. So we're not assuming this is a corner one? Oh. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but if you want, like, you, that Rock Ruff can be whatever you want it to be. Um. No, we'll just play it as it is. Okay. If I were doing corner, I would have played that a little bit differently, but that's fine. I'll, I'll see what I do. Alright, I draw for turn. I'm going to play um, down a Malamar. I'm going to play down this Naganadal. Uh, I don't have two Donwings in my collection right now, so I'm using a, a Naganadal proxy in, in place of a second Donwings. Mm -hmm. I have an Ultra Krasma. I'm going to play a Max Elixir. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what Potion is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Potion's the Max Elixir. I get a Psychic, I attach it to Donwings. I'm going to play another Max Elixir after this, after I shuffle. Like, imagine if I were in this scenario and I didn't have max elixirs. I would have basically no way to attack that rock roof at all with just only one Malamar on bench. Like, the best I could do is I could retreat and I could use Oracorio to smack you for 30. Yeah. Or, no, no, I could get a Lele. Yeah, so, okay. I'm going to max elixir again. Get another Psychic. Psychic Motor. Um, field Blower. Oh, no, no, no. No need a Field Blower. I'm just going to play a Cynthia. Okay. And this is usually... You're, you're going to need to hit a Beast Ring off of your next hand and knock out this. Yeah. And you're probably going to want to do it with a GX attack because you so don't do it with a GX Mimikyu. attack. Yeah, Mimikyu does the copycat knuckle impact. Yeah. You just need that B-string. I'm going to Cynthia for six, and that's probably the end of my turn, unless I hit an Ink. Okay. I'm going to discard a Field Blower with Mystery Treasure. Drop an Ink. And then I will Invasion to do a Dark Flash for 120. Okay. Drop the turn. Mm-hmm. Attach a Beast Energy. Yep. I have in and super rod here. I think I am because I haven't used like the ultra ball or anything yet. Yep. You play the end. And so I can play the end and then uh, hopefully I can be able to artillery as well off of the end. Sorry, I forgot to take a prize. So I'm just gonna take that prize and shuffle it into my deck. Yeah. I think ultra necrozma is gonna go down. I don't think people are actually gonna run three in the long run. I don't think it's actually as good of, a, of an attacker as uh, Dawn Wings in general. Like, it's a good finisher, but I don't think it's a good turn two, turn three attacker. Yeah. Just because of the need for the metal? Or because of that, this card? Like, it also needs a switching effect, right? Dawn Wings yeah. just comes with its own switching effect. Okay. And we got there. You got there? Got there. Everything, nice. everything I could have asked for or imagined. Diancy, <laughs> Beast Ring, what do you even do? <laughs> Search your deck, that's what I thought. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> bottom two things, let see what else I got. Uh, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to Ultra Ball. Um, 
those two. And then fighting yep. energy. I'm gonna grab another. Buzz, just in hopes of. Finding another restream. Yep. Artillery four. Mm -hmm. Uh, double V stream. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. I'll just get three. How'd you get three? Um, one, from one from hand? You you attach the the beast energy from hand, right? And then no, you string on. I double B string. Right, right. So there's two energy onto no. the puzzle in the active, and then two onto the one on the bench. Where's the third energy for the bench puzzle for him? The third B string. You have you played three. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I got one. I just got two in my hand when I auxiliary. Jeez. Okay. Okay. High roller. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, GX from the Noctis. Okay, promote the uh, the Oracoru with the Floatstone. Draw for turn. Choice band. Metal energy. Ultra ball. I kind of want to. No, I don't really want a Sycamore. I'm just going to Ultra Ball away an Ultra Necrozma and a Psychic energy. Okay. For another Malamar? Yeah. Kind of wanted to go for a Lele, but. Don't think I want to risk a Sycamore here and missing the Malamar, because then I don't get a, a knockout. Um, I think right. I'm in a pretty good, posi good position from here because. Um, what's your draw supporter? Huh? What's your draw supporter? What do you mean? What's my draw supporter? Oh, you don't have a draw supporter. Nah, nah, nah. I'm foregoing the Lele completely. Okay. So I Psychic Motor, two Psychics onto the Ultra Necrozma, I promote it to the active, and I discard those two Psychics for a knockout. Right. Okay. I take two prizes. Okay. So, the problem here is if you take a knockout with Knuckle Impact, um, yeah. the Mimikyu takes a knockout on you, whereas um, if you kind of leave this in the active, the Ultra Necrozma might not be able to attack. Right, but I still think I kind of need to take a knockout. You sure about that? Uh, I think so, but I guess. Okay. Why? Okay. What's the advantage of? If if you like, if you just end me, there's a reasonable chance I can't respond one hit KO you because I've got a choice banded Ultra Necrozma in the active slot. You have I would either need left? to hit, huh? You have three prizes left, yeah. Yes. Yes. So if you let me, if you take the Knuckle Impact here. You let me take a knockout with Mimikyu. Yeah. So and then that I have to answer to with Brock Row. What do you mean you have to answer with Brock? Oh, I have in my corner? Do something, yeah. I mean, you have uh, four prizes left, correct? Yeah. I think um, if you can end me, you definitely just go for a jet punch and then knuckle impact the next turn. I can't end you. If you can't, like I only have three cards in hand, and you know I was down to one and I got two prize cards, right? So there right. are two random cards. Plus one card that I kept. That's not a draw supporter. It's probably not a draw supporter where, where right. I would have played it. Right. Um, so... I still and, like, Uzma doesn't give me two prizes here, so that's... It's not great, but it's yeah, just Yeah, but fine. then you just knock out Buzzwell. No, 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 I can't Guzma and knock out Buzzwell. Right, I'm saying at the turn after that. Um, but the turn after then, you just knuckle impact my Ultra Necrozma. Okay, but I could just do it now. <laughs> yeah, but then if you do it now, my Mimikyu gets a, a, a copycat knockout. I understand, but that's going to happen either way, right? Oh, it has 40 No, damage. because you can jet punch oh, okay, 30 onto okay. the Mimikyu and knock it out. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Then I'll attach a strong to Rock Ruff. Uh-huh. Artillery for two. Yep. Um... Ultra Ball, Lele, mm -hmm. do 
I really want to end me? I mean, if you can end me, that's definitely a good thing. Because if you brick me... But what's why Why is it more likely for you to be bricked off of... Because I kept one card, and it's possible that one card is something good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have kept it, right? Yeah. So I have one good card and two random cards, whereas if you end me, you give me three random cards. Well, I can't end you, it turns out. Okay. So... Let me use... I shouldn't have my way but let me see. It doesn't matter, because if I discard energies, that puts me in an awkward spot again. Like, taking a one prizer and taking a two prizer, it doesn't really matter. I would probably actually just prefer to take um, one prize. Like, it improves me, right? I, w I probably wouldn't go for the Lele if I had the option to knock something out. Yeah, but I mean, I should have saved it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't shuffle my hand. Oh. I was shuffling after using Sentinel. Okay. <laughs> and then I was going to. I'm uh, grabbing Sentinel. And then I was going to use Elixir. actually mattered in this game. It's like literally never happened in my testing. What? <laughs> the tackle Rock Ruff actually mattered. Yeah. Corner usually ends up being like a lot better, right? I would have gone for Wild Kick, I think. Uh, that would have been like 50, right? Because he didn't have the DNC out then. No, but I had another strong. I could have played that instead of the fighting. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. That I don't know worked. if that was good, but that's probably what I would have done. Okay, I'm, I missed the Elite Creek, so I'll send to you. Oh, yeah, I don't have any fighting energy left. Oh. <laughs> that, that that could do it. Because I put five down with these things. Yeah. But you still have... Hmm. Um, do I have Tillery that turn? Huh? I don't, you want? I, I don't remember if I've used Octillery yet. Oh, um, I mean, go ahead and use it, if you don't think you used it. I didn't use it. Okie dokie. Um... Uh, GX already. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. And fail. Shoot. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna accelerate for two. And then I'm going to jet punch for the knockdown with Dolch. Fifty onto the active alternate crossbow. Yeah. Rock for turn. Yep. So let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six psychic energies down. So if I want to swing at you with a Donwin's Necrozma, I have to hit a psychic energy, which I have two of, and my one of Donwings that I have left in deck. So that doesn't seem like a very probable play. Okay. So I'm going to uh, Mysterious Treasure away a Metal Energy. For a Dawn Wings Necrozma. Okay. I am going to Psychic Motor 1 Psychic Energy onto the Dawn Wings. I'm going to Invasion up. I'm going to Psychic motor a uh, second psychic energy onto the ultra necrozma okay I'm why, going to, why one uh, of each because i'm going to go for the ultra necrozma's gx attack this turn so oh, I'm gonna play, okay. okay what okay so you have i'm probably going to pull up the dnc since it doesn't have a tool on it wait what's what? the gx say for that ultra necrozma so if there are six prizes total left on board between both players six or fewer six or fewer okay do uh, put six damage counters on all, all, all of your oh, opponents. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So I'm going to play Guzma, I'm going to bring up your Deancey. Okay. And I'm going to use a GX attack that's going to give me one prize on to the Rock Rock, and it's going to put 60 on everything else, and I'm going to take one prize. Okay. And that's game, right? No, no, I have two prizes left. I know, but like, it's impossible for me to win, I think. Um. 
because I don't have a field blower. Yeah, so you can't really stop the Ultra Necrozma from attacking. Oh yeah, you do have it out if you knock out a Malamar, because like I said, I don't have many energies left. Okay. Right, so if you knock out a Malamar, I might not be able to respond next turn with an attack, because I might not draw my Psychic Energy. No, 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 if you can knock out a Malamar, you lose, because I have a Psychic on Ultra Necrozma already. Um, yeah, and I have the Float Stone. Yeah, that's game. Okay. Wanna play more? Up to you, man. I wanna do more. Cool, cool. I tried messing around with like a, a pure psychic map. With so good against Buzzwall, but it just can't beat Zorark. Yeah. Maybe eventually tried... that won't matter, but I'm sure it will at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Then point. I tried messing around with like a Rainbow Energy toolbox with like Suda Wudo and Meloetta. Yeah, I remember that. I'm gonna try it on release day, so I don't spend a ton of money on Ultra Necrozmas on PTCGO. Um, but I don't. It doesn't sound like a good deck. It just sounds like a troll deck. But I'm totally down with that for day one. Yeah. It's bad. It's okay. Like it's actually pretty good against Malamar and Buzzwool because Suda Wudo is pretty good against both Buzzwool and Malamar. Right. Well, why is Suda Wudo good against Malamar? Um, because it's a one prizer that can copy Photon Geyser. What's Photon Geyser? It's all Ultra Necrozma's attack. But it can't discard Psychic, right? So. You just attack Psychic, attach Psychics to it. Oh, right, you're playing it in Malamar. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking of. Right here. Okie dokie, who do I put in the active here? I think I put this dude. I'm going first this one, right? We're all fading. That sounds good. Okie dokie. Alright, draw for turn. I'm going to go ahead and play a Bridget. I have an NK on back, so I'm probably going to go for a Donnelling so I don't get cornered. Um, an NK, because I need at least two. Question is, do I want a third NK? Play a third NK, I don't have room for. So I have the option to get a 13k. I'm debating whether I'd even want to, right? My mm -hmm. deck runs Oracorio, and Oracorio is a big part of me getting um, me getting that extra psychic energy consistently. Right. And I really want to be able to get that. So I'm probably not going to pull out the last NK. I'm just going to leave this Donwings here on board. You don't you don't need a very wide bench to deal with Buzzwool. If this were against the Zorak, I would 100% get that 30k. Oh. Um, I'm oh, going to okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to attach a Psychic Energy onto uh, Donwing's Necrozma, and I'm going to pass to you. And the reason for that is you hit me for weakness, so it doesn't really matter. Yes, yes. You don't need as many energy. Um, I'm going to Brooklet Hill. Do I? Okay, um, so typically you're supposed to Brooklet Hill like after you, Cynthia, or Sycamore, yeah. if you have that option. It's the only time I broke it before is if I need to hit a max elixir onto a buzzwall. Yeah, I don't have that option. So, that's yeah, literally the only thing. Um, should I get... I have an Octillery in here. I mean, are you playing a Straw Supporter this turn? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Should I um, grab a Remoraid so, because I have an Octillery in here? Or should I grab a buzzwall because I have Energies? I can start attaching. Uh... I think a buzzwall because my hand is not that playable for me. Okay. Um, um, start developing energy and maybe you can knock out the Dawn Wings in response to. Um... I'm kind of hoping you can't knock out next turn. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Probably not the best hope. But... So should I just should I just get a Remory? No. Should you just get a Remory? Um. No, no you, you want to start attaching energies. Um, this is kind of where I would just, like I said, I was thinking about Zygarde EX. Yeah. Zygarde EX would be so good in your position, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> then you can, I mean, it doesn't get knocked out by the Dawn Wings, and you can just start pre applying pressure, which is all you really need. Right. You just want to buy some time until you can set up your B-strings and hit some Max Elixirs. Yeah. 
Okay. Is that it? That's it. Alright, I'm gonna draw for turn. Okay, so do I value the Guzma more or the Metal Energy? I don't, I have one Super Rod, and I don't really rely on Ultra Dark Cosma this matchup, so I'm going to Mystery Treasure away a Metal Energy. Okay. I could get really greedy. I could get so greedy right now and just like leave my hand with like no supporters. <laughs> You're saying Guzma and knock out Buzzle? Yeah, but I would I would have to go down to a hand of zero. I don't think it's worth it because like you're you're implicitly putting that buzzwell up into the active next turn. So I'm gonna aura choreo for psychic energy. And psychic energy, and this is why we left the bench slot open. We'd only bridge it for two here, so that we could leave one more space for a Lele. So we have an extra out to end once I take this knockout. Oh, I'm going back in anyways. I'm going to play Ultra Ball, discarding Guzma and Psychic Energy. So I'm not going to go for the, the greedy Guzma play. For Malamar. I'm going to attach a Psychic Energy from hand. Then I'm going to play an N. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> it's the one N I had. I would have much rather played a Cynthia. But I think it's better to just developing my hand. You think it's better to what? I think it's better to develop my hand in a situation where, like, I'm not starting, I'm not setting off your peace ring, and um, your buzzle is only going to be jet punching me. So, I think that's a good play here. Okay. I'm going to psychic motor onto the Dawn Wings Necrozma. Look at my hand now. Um, I'm going to invasion. I'm going to play a Max Elixir. I hit a Psychic Energy onto the Ultra Necrozma. I'm going to play a Field Blower, discard your Stadium. Cover. And there goes the Field Blower. I attached Energy for turn, and I'm going to Dark Flash for a Knockout. Um, when you said you should, it's, you chose to end instead of Cynthia, you're saying like, you could have no, just... No, no, I said I wish I had Cynthia, but I only had N in hand. I didn't right. have an option. Um, well, the option was to Mystery Treasure for uh, Lele, but you're saying that's not worth it because it's better to... Yeah, yeah it's board. not worth it because I wouldn't be able to guarantee... Like, the the Mystery Treasure into the Ultra Ball play guaranteed a knockout for me that turn. Whereas right. if I had to burn one of my Mystery Treasures or Ultra Balls onto a Lele, I wouldn't have been able to attack. Ultra Ball. Let's go with a... I think I'm going to go Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff does answer all for Necrozma. I mean, the Dawn Wings Necrozma. Actually, no, no, because like if you if you rogue my Ultra Necrozma, yeah, if you rogue my Ultra Necrozma, my Dawn Wings Necrozma might not be able to use its GX attack with a Choice Band to take a knockout. That just might not be an option. Yeah. I don't know. Should I just get a Buzzwool? No, I think Rockruff's fine. Okay. I think it's, um, like, a Buzzwool, you're not going to be able to knock out this Necrozma. Right. So, like a Rock's really your main out here. Uh, you don't, yeah, you're good. So you don't have either Baby Mew or Zygarde DX. Correct. That, that probably makes the Mat Malamar matchup, like, really, really tough. I feel like you need one of them. Like, the Mew's really good at pressuring EKs and just taking early prizes without, like, fronting the big risk of a buzzball. Problem here is, like, I'm running a... I'm just rolling with Dawn Wings and you're just putting buzzball in the active slot all the time because you just, you just don't have an act of any other attackers. Yeah. Um, like, even even if you had Lele, you could, at least you could be energy driving me, right? That'd be better than this. Right. It'd be like yeah, but I... I was joking with uh, Poet Larson about uh, yeah. Buzzwool. Are you playing? Yeah. Okay. We were joking about um, Buzzwool Weavile, because like, <laughs> Buzzwool puts the 30 damage onto the uh, main case, and then you evolve it into Malamar, <laughs> and then Weavile sweeps for 60, and you choice band it, and you knock out a, a Dawn Wings Necrozma. Perfect. So like, you, kill, like, you kill a Malamar, and then you kill a Dawn Wings. You take a three prize turn, and then they're down to Malamar. And you're like, what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but then you're playing Buzzwall. Yeah, then you're playing Buzzwall. Oh, you're just going to uh, lose yeah. all the Buzzwall matchups. Alright. <laughs> um, and I'll jet punch, and I guess I'll put 30 on the alternate Crosmo GX. No, no, no. You're jet punching for 10 on the active, by the way. Yeah, I'll put 30 yeah. on... So really you're probably going to rogue the alternate Crosma, I'm thinking? Yeah, that's the plan. So you probably want to put 30 onto a Malamar. Yeah. Or the Inkay. The Inkay's probably better. It's probably yeah. like the same if I evolve it anyways, right? It's not going to matter, probably, but yeah, we'll do that. How much trees does Inkay have? 60 or 70? 60. 60, okay. Yeah. Drop your turn. I evolved the Inkay into a Malamar. Uh, you didn't even attach to the Buzzle, did you? No, I attached to the Rock though. All right. Oh, uh, I didn't attach. What? I didn't attach, did I? Did I attach? Did you max elixir onto that rock rough? I did. did okay, so then go ahead and attach. Okay, let me attach. I'm gonna attach here. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to play max elixir. Miss. I can't die in a motor because I have no psychics. Um, I'm just gonna Guzma up your Rock Ruff and then Dark Flash it. Okay. And then pass to you. I'll uh, drop a turn. Mm -hmm. I'll play there. Now you got your B strings. You really yeah. gotta hit those. B strings. Oh, that I played in a B string by doing that. Yeah, this is nice. No, but I, I would have played into Dangerous Rogue, which is honestly scarier. Because at least with this, I can like maybe like I can treasure Dangerous out a Donwitz. Right. Okay, so you need to do one ninety before resistance. So a choice band does it. Yeah. Well, I have my GX if I need it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You all, you always also have the GX. I think I'm gonna play. I have a Cynthia in hand, but. I think I play Lele and use N. Let me That's a good call. You have four you prizes, to... right? I have four cards in hand and four prizes. Yeah. But like my hand's good, otherwise I would have like played stuff from it. Or like played a draw supporter. So I'm gonna play N. Yep. Well no, I had Guzma, so I'm not sure how I would I would read that hand, but like I think N's just good in general. Yeah, but I'm about to go down in prizes, so it's going to hurt me worse after this and worse. That's not a reason to use it. But. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm not sure, but I thought you had more cards than me, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought you asked. Um, I have to do... What? You're 180 HP, fine. So I have to do 190s. Yeah, so you need a choice band or you need the GX. Yeah, I could. I have an Ultra Ball. So I could grab a Diancy and put a strong so energy on, but I don't 10. think that. And put a strong on, but I don't think that's worth it. I, I don't think that's worth it I'm either. Just, just divide strong here. Yeah. So GX? Yeah, we're going to have the GX. Alrighty, I'm going to promote the Oreo. Draw for turn. That's interesting. Do you have any tools in play? I have none. Okay. I'm going to uh, max elixir. Attach a psychic. B string. Patra Metal and a Psychic. And then I'm going to play a Cynthia. If I just get energy, I can pay Retreat and then yeah. take the big knockout. So I'm kind of hoping to get like a Dawn Wings so I can have an answer to the next puzzle. If I get the Dawn Wings, I think I end an energy. I think I just lock in the game. Yeah. Seems like it. Alrighty. 
So I'm going to ultra ball away a field lower and a psychic energy. Okay. For my very last on wings, I'm going to use my manual attachment for turn to uh, beast energy, psychic motor twice. You didn't already psychic motor? No, those are beast rings and a max oh, mixer. Okay, okay. Invasion, and then I take two two prize knockout. And that's it, huh? Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Also, I play a beast ring to do nothing. Okay. Just to thin, just to thin my hand a little. You have two prizes left, right? Yes. I'm just gonna see if I can get what I'm what I want, but it's already. Yeah. But I have a knockout regardless. You you really need a way to pressure without um. That's the two buzzles. prizes. <laughs> yeah. You, you definitely oh. need either the Zygarde or the Mew. Yeah. Seems right. Alright, we'll pass my bedtime now, so... Alright, have a good night, man. GG's, thanks for doing that.